So I just went from the cute little iMac 24 inch in pink to a very small iMac mini. And I have to tell you, this has been the best decision that I have made. Now you may be thinking, isn't that a downgrade? Why would you go from the very cute, very notable, very staple iMac 24 inch to just a hidden iMac mini? And in reality, it may or may not be depending on, but for me, it definitely was an upgrade and it really elevated my setup to a new height. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Myra. I am your favorite productivity 11 Slytherin and let's go ahead and get right into what are the reasons why I went ahead and made the leap and just for a disclaimer this video isn't going to get into the nitty-gritty of the specs I'm just going to give you my reasons why I highly suggest just comparing the two on Apple's website if you really want to get down into that but this is for the people who love the aesthetics love cozy tech and really don't want to get too deep into that because it goes right over our heads and I want to give like a little bit more of a casual user friendly type experience that maybe could really make your decision one way or the other. So the very first reasons why I went ahead and made the switch is because I wanted to have a little bit more flexibility with change of color scheme. Now, as I mentioned, I did have the iMac 24 inch in pink. And while pink is my jam, I love her. It kind of had me pigeonhole into one kind of color scheme with my desk setup. So with the iMac mini with different monitors or just black monitors, I can really keep it very cohesive, change up the color scheme. I have been in my browns era and honestly, my pink iMac just stood out like a sore thumb. While I absolutely loved it and thought it was beautiful, with the color of the iMac 24 inch computers, it kind of keeps you in that kind of color scheme. Now, if you love that color down, you don't think you're gonna change it, I don't think this will be a pro or con either way, but I'm a type of person who kind of changed the schemes around by how I'm feeling, what I'm loving at the moment. There was a brief time where I was really into greens and wanted my whole desk set up to be that color. So it's really hard to really change with your flow if you're that kind of person. The next reason is I got into PC gaming and streaming. So at a point in time, I had two totally different setups. I really love my Mac. I don't wanna get rid of it. I know a lot of people say like, just have a PC set up, you can do the same things. But a lot of my work life and things that I do for content creation is kind of wrapped around a Mac system. So I, it was really important for me to be able to keep both a PC and a Mac set up for when I record the podcast on the Mac. I do a lot of my editing via Mac. So it was really, really important for me to kind of still have that desktop set up with a Mac as well as combine it with my PC. Now, if you see my recent room tour video, you will see the old iMac in pink set up with a general Acer monitor. I also even had a mini like extra screen so I can have the dual screen for my PC and it worked for the moment, but honestly that setup really stuck out. It really showed how separate my Mac and PC setup was and honestly, I did not like the way it looked. With the iMac mini, I now have the ability to just have two monitors. So now I'm down from three to two. I don't have that really awkwardly smaller size monitor hanging up top of my two monitors. And it just looks a lot more cohesive. I have switcher buttons right up under my desk so I can swap between the Mac and the PC super easily. Um, I also have it set up to where if I need to stream but also work on my Mac, I have the ability to do both of those. So the iMac mini gave me a lot more flexibility that I it just would not be possible to do with the pink iMac. And kind of piggyback a little bit more on the aesthetics, my PC monitor was actually on a floating stand so it wasn't technically sitting up on my desk. Whereas with the pink iMac, there is no option to mount it to something. It has to sit on your desk. So that was throwing off the way the desk look as well. Right now, I really enjoy having my monitor kind of be off the desk so I can have the full reign of the desk to write, have my keyboard, my mic, and all of the other things that are typically sitting on the desk, notebooks, things like that. It just gave me a little bit more room. And with the pink iMac, it kind of limited me a little bit. I definitely had to have a little bit more space on my desk for it to actually sit on. 
Next reason why I switched to the iMac mini is honestly to have a little bit of cohesiveness in my screens. As I mentioned, I do stream, I do cozy co-working streams. So if you're looking for a little bit of accountability, some lo-fi music, something to keep you just motivated throughout your workday or just hang out and chill, be sure to check those out. I will leave the link to my Twitch down below to where you can join live. And also if you're unable to make the live, replays are here over on YouTube. Just click on the live tab to check those out. But but when I do do my live streams, like I said, a lot of my work is on the Mac and I stream on the PC. So having the two side by side, there was a stark difference of the way the screams look. While I absolutely love my pink iMac, it looks beautiful, but when you have it next to a very powerful gaming monitor, such as the Acer one that I have, it's a stark difference. There's so much clarity on my Acer monitors than there is on the pink iMac. My Acer monitor is a 27 inch, whereas the pink iMac is 24. So it was slightly smaller, not too much big of a deal, but when you're working there side by side, it is a stark difference to jump between one screen to the other. And with the iMac mini, obviously it is literally just a little box computer. So you can pair it up with any monitor that you want. And I love now having both the same monitors and it looks just as good whether I'm working with my PC or with my Mac. Another beautiful thing for me is that I am now able to use the same accessories for both the PC and the Mac. Now, when I had the pink iMac, I was using the camera that was on the iMac. And I have a HyperX mic that I use for podcasting as well as streaming. And I would have to switch the plugs when I would be recording the podcast on the Mac versus um, if I was streaming on the PC. So I had to remember to have those two cords close by and swap them out right before I was getting ready to do one or the other. Now with the ease of just a switcher, I can have both my streaming camera and my HyperX mic for each computer depending on which I'm using at the time. Just with a press of a button, I can go in between whichever I am doing at the time. And last but not least, the Mac mini just has so many more ports and flexibility of what I can actually plug into it versus the pink iMac. Now, depending on what size you get, you can have three to four Thunderbolt ports on the iMac. And yes, there are adapters to where you can plug into a HDMI or plug into like your SD cards. I absolutely have that. However, it is nice to have the HDMI port on the Mac mini. It's nice to have USB-C, Thunderbolt ports as well. The flexibility of having different things to plug into the Mac mini is just far beyond what the iMac can actually do. And with all of these different ports, now I don't have to worry about having multiple different adapters. I can now plug in multiple screens into my Mac mini, which is just not possible with the iMac. The best bet you can do if you want to have a dual screen is to mirror your iPad. But if you are someone who just absolutely love working on a Mac and you want to have dual screens, Mac mini is going to get you where you need to go just because it has those HDMI ports and you can plug in multiple things into this bad boy. And I have a M2 chip, so it is a little bit faster, but for what I do, like I said, create content, edit, it's perfectly fine. I don't really see that stark of a difference between the two computers, but most of my reasonings were for the aesthetics, having a more cohesive setup with my PC, having the opportunity to have a much larger screen and having the flexibility to change up my setup and have it look a lot more cohesive. So be sure to let me know what are some of your reasonings if you made the switch, what are some things that you're thinking about if you're thinking to purchase between the two. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them in the comments down below. Let's get to chatting about it. Now, I hope this video was extremely helpful, but if you're like me and are into the cozy tech kind of vibes and love you some apple products you're gonna want to check out these videos here i think you will absolutely love them and they will get you on your way and i will see you over there